What up? How you doing? Good, sir. Good to see you. Nice to see you. It's guest week here on Number Six with Cheese today, my dad. But first, a little note: Thursday, Patreon members, ten dollars and up. Thursday, eight thirty Eastern, five thirty Pacific. We're doing a hangout. Me and Corey drinking beers, maybe some shots of Malort. Definitely you gotta do that. Yeah, we're doing that for sure. <laughs> we're definitely doing that. Uh, before we do any fun Patreon stuff, we gotta do this awesome video. We're doing the Impossible Whopper versus the regular Whopper. Here it comes. Let's go. Oh yeah. Jordan? Hi, could we do uh, three impossible whoppers? Just the sandwiches or you want the meal? Do you, are you guys running that promo where it's like you get a regular whopper and an impossible whopper for seven bucks? I saw it on the app. I didn't know if you guys were doing that. Oh, okay, I got it. So there's three of us. We wanted to each do that if that's cool. So like three whoppers and three impossible whoppers. Kind of cool. Anything else? Oh, yeah. And then uh you want a drink? Yes, please, I'll take the coke as well. Uh can we do two medium cokes and then one diet coke? 30, 80. Thank you so much for doing that. I appreciate it. <laughs> 30 bucks. It was supposed to be, it would have been like way more We're if they didn't have that. Of it. Yeah, without that deal. I'd yeah, that's cool. why I was like, if we can get that locked in, that'd be great. Right. Yeah. What the bro? Oh. What the uh, I've seen that done somewhere. Let's see. Where was it? Watch how fast I am. No! I'm gonna drip this on your. No! Oh. Almost. No. <laughs> Why do you even put my straw in the drip? Why? I can do it. I'm being a gentleman. You look at a me. Gentleman. Touch your straw. I like that one I was watching. Where the guy comes up, man. If you got any hands. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Corey went. Hilarious. Corey went. Have any? <laughs> no, I don't have any. <laughs> Where I was like, I would buy it. You go like, no, I don't have any. You go, Curry, you got any? He's like, What's he no, want? I don't have Passing. any. Oh, we got a gentleman. What's up? I don't, do Wait, you? what's up? He wants acid. Oh, no, sorry, I got none, brother. Sorry, man. <laughs> what are your predictions? Do you think we're going to be able to tell the difference? Yes, I think we will, but I don't think that it's gonna the be impossible. Bad. I don't think you'll be like, oh, no way. I'm definitely, you know. Right. Okay. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Six whoppers, three of which have meat acquired. We might not even be able to tell the difference because they're not marked. Jump Ooh. cut! A lot of you guys suggested this. You wanted us to do the impossible burger versus the regular whopper. So today. How many years as a butcher? 40. 40 years cutting up dead animals. <laughs> and uh, what a better narrative. Cutting up dead animals. Than bringing on the butcher of all butchers, Ron Ely. Regular Whopper. All right. Impossible Whopper. Whoa. Oh, they make it mint green. Yeah. Napkins for us. That's a lot of Whopper. So Wait. how do you... Uh, Weight seems similar. It does. Even when I picked them up, I was like... Yeah. Okay, okay. In fact, this feels a little heavier. So Impossible does? Yeah. Okay. So here's the branding for Impossible. Look, we love branding on this show. Love branding. It's a big part of what we uh, get excited about. That's the Impossible. And then you got the OG, the one that's been doing it, doing all the heavy lifting for years. Looking, looking real brown. Whopper. Go on. Say it. Smelling good. Yeah. Once you put those in your hands, you might not be able to tell. No, I definitely can. Oh, 100%. The patties do not look at all similar. Look at that. That is definitely beef. You know what it looks like? It looks like those old Boca burgers. I used to get yes. like the veggie frozen Boca burgers when Very I was on a similar. hardcore diet after gaining 50 pounds in college. <laughs> and, uh, that's what that reminds me of. But would you be able to tell the difference, Sixers, without me telling you which one's which? Let us know. And then a little closer to mine. Right there, okay, cool. Look at this photograph. Sexy. <laughs> Okay. Um, that was great. All right, let's take it in for a Corey Wagner second angle. All right, we're gonna start off with the classic uh, Whopper. You're seeing the uh, sesame seed bun that you're used to seeing. Underneath, we got a ton of lettuce, some mayo. Under that, uh, tomatoes. I can't wait to see how many people are sad that I'm doing this. I hope your life is okay. I'll take, <laughs> I'll eat them. Ron Ely will eat tomatoes. Tomato up. Here, take those mottos and enjoy them. Oh. You want an extra pickle? 
Yeah. Um, uh, ruining people's oh, lives dude. by taking my pickles off too. Oh, oh. <laughs> and it's between the seats. <laughs> so we got some onions oh, and some ketchup one. and the burger meat. So Man, that is a lack of onions. That is a lack of onions if I've ever seen it. <laughs> now you got the uh, the stacked burger over there. Look at you. Is that what you did? Whoa. Yeah, there you go. See, that's how they should make it if you like tomatoes. My God. <laughs> All right, now the Corey Wagner second angle on the brand new Impossible Whopper. All right, so the bun, you know it. We're gonna skip past that. Mayonnaise, pickles, uh-oh, hurting somebody's soul by doing that. Lettuce. All right, so here's what we're looking at. Tomatoes, oh, someone's gonna cry. Get those out of there. All right, so now we're good, down to the goods. We're seeing the onions, we're seeing the ketchup. Let's take a look at this this meat. It looks like meat to me. That looks uh pretty dang similar to what hamburger beef looks like. You're seeing the grill marks. The color is the same, the consistency looks the same. From everything I can visually tell, if I was just to get this, I would think that looks like a burger patty. 100%. So that's that's what the Impossible Burger's Fruit actually looking at. Everything. The big controversy is, if you're a vegan, you can't eat this because it has mayo, because that's made with eggs, and you can't eat this because they cook it on the same surface, same surface. as all the beef and chicken. Yep. Right. So, vegans, I understand, you're like, I'm trying to make a lifestyle choice, you're making it hard for me, Burger King. I get it. Um, so what are we starting with, Whopper or Impossible Whopper? Your guys' call. I'm going Impossible. Impossible right. first, all right. First. Yeah. You know what a real Whopper tastes like. Yeah. It's good. All right, Ron Ely, in from Florida for a little Impossible Whopper challenge. You ready? Here we go. Cheers. 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 I taste pretty good. Yeah, I'm ripping a piece off. I think that's what you gotta do, right? Yeah, just me. Gotta try it by itself. <laughs> it literally feels <laughs> like fast food beef when you rip it. But it's softer. Dude, the smokiness. That's where it does taste like the same thing as a Whopper because the beef is so smoky at Burger King. It's got that char grilled, right? Yes. What do you think? You're the butcher. You've had a lot of burgers in your life. It's very meat-like. Right? The consistency they nailed. Mm-hmm. Let me soda up. Yeah, it's one with the wrapper still on the straw. That's probably yours, yeah. <laughs> I'll be drinking wrapper for the rest of my life. Listen, man, I went through a whole season of the show where all I ate was wrapper. This is good. It's actually really good, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not nasty at all. No. That's the big thing. We all, at some point, I feel like, have tried early in the phases of veggie stuff and been like, oh, this is not even close. They don't to have me. it nailed just yet. This is pretty close. I really can't tell the difference between this and a White Castle burger. This isn't meat? Yeah. That's impossible. It also helps because Burger King's staple is the, you know, the lettuce and the onion and the mayo. Like, yep. when all that's mixing with some sort of a beef texture, yeah. it's masked a little bit because all those flavors are working. I'm gonna do a comparison try now. Yeah. Bite for bite. All right. Regular Whopper. I would have no idea. I really don't oh, think. Do. Well, I will a, probably now that I'm going to try this one. If you had a blindfold on and they remain exactly the same, would you know? I don't think so. I, I really thought I would know more once I bit the Whopper, and I think I know less once I bit the Whopper. Yeah. It's really similar. When's the last time you Black saw me and Corey both get a drink, by the way? This is a special occasion. It's special. <laughs> Man, Diet Coke is so good. Oh my god. <laughs> I kind of like the taste of the Impossible one better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the I'm gonna hell? try the Whopper. Yeah, it's in that bun is right there. Yeah, yeah. the bottom bun? Mm hmm It's like as thin as a razor. Yeah. Oh, dude. Dude, I think I like the Impossible beef better too. I just tried just the beef on it, the beef. Dude, I think I like the flavor of yeah. this better. Yep. Oh my God, what the hell's wrong with me? Am I okay? Somebody needs to resuscitate Corey immediately. I, I really think I like the Impossible better. What the hell? The, gr the regular beef is kind of chewy. Chewier than the... You know, I don't yeah. know what it is. It's like, it looks the same. It's the same thickness. That's the funny thing I think people don't think about. That fast food beef is trash ass beef. <laughs> it's not like we're getting like a good loyalist burger. Mm -hmm. Like that would probably be a different story, but like fast food burger meat isn't really that good quality. You mean they, they don't make this out of ground tenderloin? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. I'm not kidding you. I don't know the difference in price normally. So we're rocking the $7 promo. Great price. I've seen other YouTubers say that the like impossible burger large value meal is like $9.50. I don't know if that's true. Is the Impossible Whopper way more expensive? Which it would make sense because it's 
Yeah. You know, there's a lot of science going into that. Mm -hmm. They figured the science out of killing cows right. a long time ago. You're right, you're right. So that does make sense that it'd be a little more expensive, but they would be doing a lot for the world, I guess. Vegetables cost more than beef. It's the like process that you need to do though. Right. With like, you know, the beet coloring with a little test tube that they're right. like placing yeah. on there and all the soy, right? Is there soy in it? I'd assume right. so, I don't know. This is insane to me. I didn't know it was gonna be this similar. I'm kind of mind blown right now. Dad, what are you feeling? I'm kind of surprised that it's that good for Burger King. I've right. had, you know, the uh, Beyond Beef okay. burgers, yep. which are really good. Yeah. Oh, is that two different companies? It is, so oh, Beyond wow. and Impossible are kind of like the, the McDonald's and Burger King of that world, okay. to be completely honest. So my dad will stock an entire meat seafood counter at work, and you sell you, you said you sell Beyond Beef, right? Yeah, we do. And how much is it a pound traditionally, roughly? Because mm -hmm. so like a good ground beef is like normally five or six bucks a pound, seven bucks a pound oh, if you yeah. get really good stuff. So how much is Beyond Beef price? Uh, let's see. It's a you get two patties in this package that it yeah. comes in. Yeah, and he works at a Winn Dixie, so it's not like he's working at some upscale Whole Foods, right? right. Just yeah. so they know. Right, so it's it, a regular grocery store, but it comes in package, two patties in a package, and it's I think it's like seven dollars. Okay, so what's three, that weight on there? Three, like half three a fifty or? a patty. Like a half pound patty? No, because no. that'd be a full pound. It's oh right, right. Quarter, patties. Quarter pounders. Quarter pounders. Okay. Yeah. So it's pretty expensive. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised this tastes this good. I'm so yeah, surprised. Yeah, I'm shocked. The price. Are you ready for this? What's happening. Water, soy protein concentrate, coconut oil, sunflower oil, natural flavors, 2% or less, potato protein. Corey, oh, help. I like Corey help. Corey, help. Corey, what's that word? Natural flavors? After that. Oh, 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 methaclucose? <laughs> oh. Yeast extract, cultured dextrose, food starch modified, soy leg homoglobin. Salt. I mean, it, literally, the list is longer than. Wow. All right. Never mind. I won't be getting any more of these. <laughs> Dude, science. Also, if you are somebody who doesn't want anything to do with Impossible Burgers or Beyond Burgers, you go, I like beef. Go watch our previous episode with my dad. We built oh, yeah. Juicy Lucy Burgers <laughs> in my the kitchen. Best. Three bacon stuffed cheese burgers with onions acquired. <laughs> I made Mariano's. some of those for my friends. I used your techniques. You did. did the you? pinching technique? Yeah. That's the money move. Pinching that cheese in there. Keep it in there. Oh, yeah. People were obsessed with it. I made mm. some for my friends and they were losing their minds. <laughs> yeah. I actually rewatched the video to figure out exactly how, <laughs> how we did it. it. I can't wait to make these for my friends and blow their minds and give no credit to Mr. Ely. I'm gonna, yeah. Yeah. That was one of my favorite videos we've ever shot. Oh, yeah. That was fantastic. Just getting drunk and having fun and cooking. And putting the, the crunched up bacon in there. Oh, yeah. Really yeah. Good. yeah. Sautéing those yeah. onions mm -hmm. and mm. caramelized them up nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was good. Gonna have to do that again. I'm re hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Mm. This is so good. Do not forget, we said it earlier in the video this Thursday, we are going live to $10 patrons and above, doing a QA, drinking, hanging out. Me and Corey just kind of shooting the shit with you guys for what, 45 minutes to an hour? Yeah, it was fun last time. It was a, a lot blast. of people on there. We we Just got those little got mini drunk. bottles of Malort. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, Eric brought over a whole bottle of Malort, so we can take shots of that. Are we doing this one at my place? <laughs> We're doing it at your place. Yeah, yeah, we can take shots of that. What do they make that out of? <laughs> Old socks from Kaminsky Park or something. There's a joke or something. Everybody in Chicago. Jepson. So there'll be more Malort to heads. So if you want to watch us, some Malort, Malort face. And if you're not a ten dollar up patron right now, click on the link below, sign up. You can literally donate for a month and then peace out. We're totally fine with that. Uh, but you'll be able to hang out with us on Thursday. So we'd, we'd love for you to join. Can we all agree that we'd all give a regular Whopper a thumbs up normally? Yeah, yeah. You're right, that's a, that's a great burger. fast food burger. Classic. Burger King built the Mecca on that thing. Yep. But based on everything going on with imitation beef, thumbs up or thumbs down for the impossible Whopper here today at Burger King. Eric, drum roll please. He's just sitting across the street. Yeah, good. Just drum roll. Do it over there. <laughs> I, don't know, I didn't even tell him we were filming. Wow. Appreciate you, Eric. All right, ready? Oh! Oh! Shocking. That was unbelievable. I can't believe how good that was. Here's proof of that I liked it so much. Regular Whopper. Dude, 
My impossible waffle. Oh, almost ate it. That's all. how you know I'm not bullshit. You. <laughs> I really did. I Bull think wagon. I like the flavor a little bit more for the. I don't know why, but it's just a little <laughs> better. I thought it was really. It was different, but a good difference. It yeah. really is. It like the flavor, smoke, and the spices. It works. Oh my gosh! I, I can't wait. My cousin texted me about this the other day, wanting to know. I'm gonna text him ASAP. Like, wow! Go get it, Go get it Kev! Go I'll be it. buying some when I get home. Mm -hmm. What's your go-to fast food in Florida? Mm, Taco Bell's right down the street. I got Arby's. I like Ooh. probably Burger King. Really? Yeah. Over. The, Damn. You know, and then Arby's and then Taco Bell, which is amazing because I love Taco Bell. Too, yeah. So. I sent him a Taco Bell gift card for his birthday. Yeah. <laughs> and Corey goes, "You say you're not fast food?" <laughs> I go, "Dude, he will love it. I promise you." That's amazing. Yeah, it's great because it's so close to my house. It's like a quick go-to. Don't forget, everybody, keep your eyes peeled. We got way more guests coming, including a little more Ron Ely coming for you on Friday. Be ready. DiGiorno's Pizzeria. Primo pepperoni pizzas. It's just like a little bit of a step up from what you can get from like a cafeteria, but like barely a step up. Here's how I make DiGiorno better. The Table Ranch. See you guys tomorrow, brand new episode, number six with cheese.com. Don't forget to hit that Patreon link to join the crew. Ron's a patron. I am. He's donating money to these patrons. two morons. See you tomorrow. Good burger? Great burger. I'm verified, yeah. yeah. I'm very fly, hey. I'm very fly, yeah. I'm verified, yeah. I'm verified, yeah. Dad's first Billy Goat. That's my order. No. I need a Billy Goat.